Welcome back to City Scene. I have two amazing guests tonight that I'm really excited about. Um, we are going to talk about something that I didn't know anything about, yeah, and I'm really excited for you to share. Um, I have Nico and Kirsten, and <laughs> you, Nico, have, have the Wiedemann Steiner Syndrome. Look, at, I said it right. Uh, Great job. German. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. So, And later in the show, we have the Economic Development Collaborative, so stay tuned for our next show after this. Yeah. So welcome to the both of you. Thank you. And uh, as we noted, WSS is a very rare disorder. Can you start off by sharing with us how many children in California have been diagnosed with it? Not many. Um, it's in the 20s. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah. Wow, and so when we say there's rare, a, it's There's rare, a cluster rare. of people in um, California because we have so many genetic centers and so much testing is available in California. There's another cluster in the United Kingdom okay. because the person who discovered the syndrome is um, British, Dr. Wendy Jones, and she did a large scale study. So there's about as many in the UK as California, but then it's just a smattering. There's really? about so like other states within the country are even fewer? Oh, much fewer. Some okay. states have zero. Wow. Um, there's, we think there's about 700 worldwide who have WSS. And, and this is something that primarily affects children, correct? Um, or we don't it? know. It's only really children who are undergoing the genetic um, testing mm. to determine it. Um, this kind of testing is really new. It's, it's only been in the last probably decade that we have this level of ability to test okay. for genetic mutations. And now how old was Nico when he was diagnosed? Do you remember? No. How? You were eight years, eight, eight, seven eight months old. old. Eight and years, seven months old. It was an excruciatingly long eight time to not know. know. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really, and that has to do with the technology mm -hmm. of being able to do this. Yes. And the, the first round of genetic testing we did was about four months before it was, di it was discovered. Oh, wow. So it was really the second time that we did the okay. testing. And as you and discovered. I were talking, you said that was a, a a good day for you. It was one of the best days yeah. ever. I yeah. had a path to follow. I yeah. knew, and I, it, it told me that the therapies that we had been doing were the right therapies. We weren't missing any boats. Yeah. It was we, we were on the right track. And it also gave me a community. Mm. I, I there were people I could talk to about yeah. it, and yeah. it also gave Nico a community. Yeah, well, good. Of other kids. Now, Nico, what grade are you in now? Sixth. Sixth grade. That's a fun year. Yeah. And you go to school in. Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, okay. And what are some things that you enjoy doing? For school? Just kind of whatever. School, like, fun at home, um, with for friends. For school, I like hanging out with my class's dog. My dog. That's fun. Oh, you have a dog, dog. in your class. That's yeah. awesome. He's a brown lab. I mean, um, black. He's a black lab. Black lab. Nice. Cool. His name's Fletcher. Fletcher, fun. <laughs> He's two years old. Cool. He's a full grown black lab. Awesome. What else do you enjoy doing? Playing baseball. Playing baseball. Wonderful. And torturing my sister. Torturing your sister. That's what <laughs> so every 11-year-old loves doing. How old is she? 14. Does she try to torture you back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That must be very interesting mm -hmm. for mom. Yes. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> and so what Nico's diagnosis, how did you even start even kind of getting to that point where you go, we need to get an well, answer. Well, I, I had a little head start because I, am a, I was a speech and language therapist and oh. I worked, worked with special education and I had worked with a lot of different children. So, and he was also my second. And I, so I, I knew immediately, like literally within hours, there was just that mom instinct. Mm -hmm. yep. And I had countless people telling me, oh, you just know too much, and right. don't look for trouble. Yeah. And, but I knew, and I persisted, and I called my local regional center and um, got him tested. And we started early intervention, mm, like six months, eight mm -hmm. months, really early. And I just knew. Mm -hmm. I just knew. And, and it affects I persisted. speech, right? Some of that's kind mm -hmm. of some of the things mm -hmm. is that speech. L lower. It's mostly. Um, the GI system oh. and um, intellectual, you know, his, his brain. And so he did speech and language and all kinds of early intervention. I'm a big, big proponent of early intervention. I think he is where he is now because of early intervention. Yeah, well, good. Now, Nico, doctors have been kind of working with you. What are some things that they've done to help? Oh, um, my, stomach, my stomach doctor, my, um, my doc, doctor that helps me breathe. Mm. So they have he's, different like so have therapies different for you. Oh, yeah. and different he's done um, speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy. He has a um, 
gastroenterologist, he has a neurologist, and we, wow. there's nothing that's actually, uh, there's no therapy right now for any of that, we, we're just constantly doing check-ins. The GI things. system is a real issue mm. with children with WSS. Yeah. So that's the worst, is that kind of the worst part of it for you, Nico, the stomach? Yeah. 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 And a lot of, I'd say, a third of the children are tube fed. So Nico oh, wow. kind of, oh. we, just, we just missed that, thank goodness. So wow. it's very big with. Yeah, okay. there's, there's a big GI component yeah. to it. Okay, so we have some photos. Do you want to look at some photos? Okay. Cool. Let's look Let's at some photos and you, can, you can tell us about them for yourself. So okay. this first one. This is the label, I guess, for your. Uh, oh, that's our that's our your, logo. Your I thought it was awesome. going to change. Like, that's, that's, photo. that's the logo to the WSS Foundation. Awesome. We are a granting um, organization, and we are funding research. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. That is Amanda and Chelsea Brandt. This is another family who have WSS, and it's sort of just amazing that we live so close to each other. And um, so Chelsea's local here. Chelsea's in Ventura, okay. and this is where we all met. At the that's at the train station, and Chelsea and Nico got, have been fast friends. How you know. cool! How fun! Yeah, there oh, they are that. at the Moxie Museum oh, in Santa Barbara. Oh, Moxie. Yeah, and they both have the same distinctive, beautiful eyes, and that's that's a distinctive feature of mm. WSS. Nice. Great eyes. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, and this Chelsea that. and Amanda. Mm. With 20 cases, I mean, the, the odds of having no. someone that close to you. Yeah, wow. this is um, last October when Nico and I, Nico was in the hospital because his tummy, he had some tummy troubles, and they released him on Halloween just in time to go trick-or-treating. Mm. And that's, you can see Nico had a much better time in the hospital than I did. Yes. <laughs> looked a little and more rested. That's Amanda and me. I hosted a fundraiser last year for WSS, and we got together and, and were able to... That's awesome. You know, be together. But yeah. but the foundation has been wonderful. It's given a, me a place to focus. I'm on the board of directors now. Is that something we, that you helped establish, or was it there already? It was very newly established. I okay. was. I think I'm one of the first first um, first wave of board members. Got it. But Libby Wolford established the foundation, and it's headquartered in Sacramento. Okay. And so I, I go up occasionally. And yeah. And do you get a lot of support through that foundation? Absolutely. We have a parent Facebook, a closed Facebook group just for WSS families. Mm -hmm. And it's where it's where all of the, the chatter happens. It's where yeah. I say, oh my god, I'm having a, a really rough day. Or, oh yeah. my gosh, Nico did the best thing today. Yeah. And it's where we share all of our joys Successes and our and questions victories and, and challenges lots of and victories. And, and, yeah. Lots of challenges too. Yeah. And to yeah. have somebody that you can walk with and knows totally. what you're experiencing is it's so huge. Really it's invaluable. It yeah. is it's exactly what I needed those first eight years. I didn't have. So <clears throat> so oh. when it was established and when I when it started, I was the first one in. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I, I need this. Yeah. yeah, I need well, I good. Really do So need now WSS it. is is inherited though not through both parents, but it's more we talked about earlier. It's, it's a random, random genetic mutation. mutation. Absolutely random. However, once you have WSS, you have a fifty percent chance of passing it on to it. your but it's okay. just it's a random mutation on chromosome eleven and one of the the issues that we want to research is, you know, what causes this mutation, mm -hmm. how how did this happen? How does anything like this happen? Yeah. And it's um, it's just one of those questions that we really strive right. to, to have yeah, answered. Answer to. Yeah. yeah, and to give parents an idea of like what is your life going to look like? Yeah, that's after, the after diagnosis, is, the there's so, is so many hard, questions. So some of those things can get answered and it's get some horrible. clarity. It's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible not knowing. Yeah. Now we talked a little bit about the physical traits, mm -hmm. but overall, really, it's the GI. Is that typical, or is that just with Nico? Very typical. Okay. Very typical. I would say, in you know, 90 to 100 percent of the kids have some level of GI distress. Some, you know, to, which to where they're too translated into so many other things that could go down exactly, the road. Crohn's, exactly. Exactly. So you're not only looking for GI; you're looking for. What else? Uh, well, there's a there's a level of intellectual disability that okay. comes along with it, and um, we're trying to figure out is this type of mutation common with this symptom, and that's one of the things that we're trying to research mm. too. And that's where we've got our grant money ready to go. We just published an, our request for proposal on the website, and we're waiting for researchers who are interested to answer these questions to contact us and. 
we have money for them. Yeah. If, if they're willing to put in a good two-year research project, we have the money waiting for them. So you have, you're getting $200,000, correct? We have, we have raised $200,000. So how, if someone is out here listening right now and mm -hmm. maybe knows someone who would be willing to take on this research, what yeah. would they do? Or would they they would go to our website at www.wssfoundation.org and the RFP is published on the homepage and everything, the letter of interest in the RFP, every, everything's there for you and they'll know what to do. They're ready but to give yeah, we have, we, have, <laughs> we have the money. We are just looking for the researchers who want to answer the same questions that, that we do. Now, the foundation, obviously, it's been a big part for you, mm -hmm. and you've gotten involved. What, what else? I mean, they were key in raising some funds, raising mm -hmm. awareness. Can you we, tell us a little bit more about that? Well, yeah, we also, the, you know, our, our major goal is funding research, but we also put um, some money aside for... Um, collaboration of the parents. We're putting on a conference in October in Sugarland, Texas. It's our um, third annual conference where we're bringing in speech therapists, occupational therapists, geneticists, gastroenterologists, cognitive people who, who um, are psychologists, and we're doing a full-scale medical conference and it will be international. And so, people will be coming and so will in. families be there or is primarily Fam primarily Families medical? and doctors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bring them together. Yeah. We're going to have to go pretty soon, but Nico, I want to know, tell me something about you that's amazing. Uh, What's amazing about you? What do you um, love about yourself? Um, that I'm always a good sport. That you're always a good sport. And on that note, we are going <laughs> to say thank you to our guest, Nico Kirsten, and thank you very much on the City Scene. Stay tuned for our next segment.